Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel English Learning 101. Nice to meet you again with another video. Today we are going to talk about reported speech in English. Please follow our account in different social media, Twitter and Facebook, Instagram listed below and do not forget to visit our website www.englishlearning101.com if you are new to my channel or if you haven't already make sure you click that subscribe button i would really really appreciate it are you ready let's begin to mention that in english we have reported speech and indirect speech also report speech called indirect speech so there are two ways of telling somebody what another person said direct speech and reported speech Direct speech. In direct speech, we repeat the exact words that somebody said. For example, he said, I am watching TV. They said, we like football. And he said, he is in the garden. Reported speech. We use reported speech when we wish to report what someone else has said without using a direct quote, direct speech. This can be useful when we're making a report or telling a story. In other words, sometimes someone says a sentence and maybe we want to tell someone else what the first person said. So, when we report what someone else has said, we are shifting our perspective of that speech. Therefore, our language must reflect that shift in its perspective. There are three possible changes that can occur in a quote, direct speech that is being reported. To mention that quote means to repeat the words that someone else has said or written. Which means that in report speech, we have a change of pronouns, a change in tenses, a change of time phrases. I was said, I like reading novels. Transformation into report speech is, I was said that she liked reading novels. Now, notice how the pronoun changes to show who the original speaker was, then the pronoun changes the verb must agree in number. So I like shifted to she or he liked. Ari says I have had coffee. The reported speech of this sentence is Ari says that she has had coffee. In this sentence I have had shifted to she has had. Look at this example. Arwa said, I stayed in London for one week. The reported speech, Arwa said that she had stayed in London for one week. In this sentence, I stayed shifted to she had stayed. When the speech we are reporting uses past tenses, we put it even more in the past, so simple past becomes past perfect. Ari said, I did the homework last night. The reported speech, Ari said that she had done the homework the night before. In this example, I shifted to she last night into night before. Arwa said, I called the university last month. In this example, the reported speech is, Ari said that she had called the university the previous month. In this example, I shifted to she last month into previous month. Time phrases that originally indicate a relation to a specific time must also be changed so show inappropriate time. Last night to the night before, last month to the previous month, today to that day, yesterday to the day before. Also, the day before yesterday becomes two days before, tomorrow, to the next or the following day, 
the day after tomorrow in today's time today's letter next week next month or year to the following week month and year to briefly summarize we have seen that reported speech is used when we want to tell someone else what the first person said we use or reporting verbs like say and tell if this verb is in the present tense it is so easy for us we have just to put she or he says and then to the sentence we don't to change the tense thought we don't need to change the pronoun also as you know the use of that is optional which means that it is the same if you answer it or no but if the reporting verb is in the past tense then we change the tenses in the reported speech as follow present simple becomes past simple present continuous becomes past continuous present perfect becomes past perfect past simple becomes past perfect past continuous shifted to the past perfect continuous and finally past perfect becomes past perfect well becomes would can becomes could my becomes might must becomes have to or must i am is are going to becomes well going to to mention that could might would don't change in a reported speech example i might play with you the reported speech he or she said that she he might play with us to mention that is optional occasionally we don't need to change the present tense into the past if the information in direct speech is still true but this is only for things which are generally facts and even then usually we like to change the tense for example in direct speech the sky is blue the reporter speech she or he said and that's between brackets the sky is or was blue both are correct whether with is or was now moving to reported questions in fact reported questions is not so different from reported speech the tense changes are the same and we keep the question word once we tell the question to someone else, it is not a question anymore. So we need to change the grammar to normal positive sentence. Look at this example to clarify confusion. First one, in direct speech, where do you live? The reported speech, she or he asks me where I lived. In that previous example, the direct question is in the present simple tense. So we need to make a present simple question we do or does then we need to change the verb to the past simple look at this example in direct speech where is arwa the reporter speech she or he asks me where arwa was so the direct question is in the present simple of verb to be so we make the question form of the present simple of be by changing the position of the subject and verb also we need to change them back before putting the verb into past simple and that was for the wh questions but what if we need to report a yes or no question in this case we use if or whether to form a reported question Briefly, a yes or no question is a type of question that requires yes or no as answer. Example, do you like coffee? The answer here is yes if you like coffee or no if you don't like it. In direct speech, do you love me? The reported speech, she or he asked me if I loved her or him. We have seen that in reported question, some rules are involved. Rule 1. When we report questions, the subject comes before the verb. 
Rule number two. When we're reporting questions, we don't use the auxiliary verb do except in negative questions. And rule number three, we report yes or no questions with if or whether. And number four, when we report questions with who, what or which plus to, to be plus object, the verb become comes before or after the object. Reported request after discussion reported speech and reported questions now what will be the form if we want to repeat a request for someone who asks you to do something in a polite way for example in direct speech open the door please could you open the door please would you mind opening the door please so the reported speech will be she or he asks me to open the door you will notice that all of these requests stated in the example mean the same thing, so we don't need to report every word when we tell another person about it. We simply use asks me plus two plus infinitive. To report a negative request, we use not, for example, please don't be negative, report a speech she or he asked me or us not to be negative reported orders now how about if someone doesn't ask so politely this is called an order in english when someone tells you very directly to do something like go out in fact we make this into reported speech in the same way as or request we just tell instead of ask in direct speech sit down report the speech she or he told me to sit down let's practice write the reported speech of the following sentences
Now you can check the answers in the pinned message below. Nice to meet you and see you with other video. So take care.